unfortunately, Luciana and I weren't able to have a very long conversation because of the work constraints that she was under. Um, but we, but she did send me some information about um, her projects, and um, I was really struck um, by her where she spoke about what possibilities digital culture offered being spaces for experimentation and also spaces for resistance, particularly against a explicit neoliberal ideology of a production space making objects rather than a space for collaboration. Um, and I formulated in my mind, really, it's a, it crystallized in my mind as a factory versus a laboratory, in the sense that a laboratory is a space that might not make discrete artworks, but it might um, foster collaboration. Um, she has worked, um, as you might have seen in the video, mainly in rural areas, um, quite poor areas and countries, which might not have access to um, the internet or even many digital technologies. And so these spaces were there to enable a process of sharing and exchange um, and collaboration. Um, I think that's as much as I'd like to say about, the, about her work. I think she expresses it more eloquently than I ever could. Um, but just one last thing, I guess. I think I was also struck, uh, I started to think about how she defines digital culture. And I guess a provocation I'd just like to offer is that is digital cult are we modeling our interactions now on our use of technology and how in our everyday interactions? And if we are, then do we then need to create online or indeed material forums that are not subservient to large corporations such as Twitter, Facebook, but are indeed more collaborative and allow us to create or reconfigure digital architecture of the internet? Okay. <laughs>